Hello and God bless you. I welcome you to today's broadcast. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Happy New Year to every one of you. I'm glad that I'm able to come live again to talk to us, the body of Christ. Today, I want to share some of the visions I have been having with us. And I want you to pray about these things and also ask the Lord to reveal to you what we should do as children of God. Oh, we know we are living in the end times and we really need to be very, very careful because if we are not careful, we may end up losing the most important thing and that is our salvation. Uh, I've been having these visions about the COVID-19 vaccination and um, if I do not share these messages, it is not going to be uh, good on my part. I know the Lord is going to hold me accountable because He reveals these things to me so that I can live by them, by the knowledge, and also share these messages with the body of Christ so that people can be wise to live a holy, godly lives. Uh, before I begin, I want us to read, I want to read Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17 and he caused all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had a mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name uh, this is a message is a revelation that the lord gave to us in the time of John uh, when he was in the island of Patmos. Today, this thing is becoming very, very relevant. This vision of John, of John is becoming very, very relevant. Only one thing is missing, and that is my understanding of the scripture is that the Antichrist has to come first before everybody receives the mark of the beast. Apart from that, everything about this COVID-19 vaccine tallies with what is described in this Revelation chapter 13, 16, 17, and 18. So we have to be wise. Now, let me go straight to the visions I had. Uh, the first one I want to share is a message that I got from the Lord uh, concerning a sister in Canada. And I gave her the message and I told her this message is not just for you alone, but it's also for the body of Christ. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with other people and uh, this message is um, a message that has to do with this vaccine um, let me read as fast as possible uh, what I put down here this is a message that the Lord gave me for someone in Canada it came as a personal message to the person but it is a message that concerns others. I'm sharing this message with everyone because it is applicable to other Christians in Canada and other parts of the world where COVID-19 vaccine is, would be or is being administered already. I was in a vision and I saw, and I was, I saw a Christian and I heard the voice of the Lord telling her to cleanse herself. He said trouble is about breaking out in Canada. The type of trouble was not mentioned, but I understood 
it to be the globalist agenda of, digi of digitalizing all the humans and merging humans with machines. As a result of the trouble that is coming, God wants to strengthen the Christians that are in the affected areas by releasing His Holy Spirit upon them. The Holy Spirit is to empower them so that they can be empowered to stand strong in their faith. This is the reason the Christian sister was asked to cleanse herself. We know that the Holy Spirit cannot live in a body that is defied. So the Lord told her, cleanse yourself, purify yourself, set yourself apart so that I can release my spirit upon you so that you can be strong enough to resist the evil that is being uh, released uh, against the Christians in your environment. Again, I heard a voice answering a question. Someone asked a question. I didn't hear the question, but I understood what the question was. And the voice was answering the question. Uh, the question uh, the person asked, which I did not hear, was, what if I can't cope with the persecutions because I don't want to compromise my faith? And the voice of the Lord answered the question and said, then move out of that environment if you can't cope. That means if you can't cope, move out change your environment if you can't cope at all move out of that environment some days ago i saw someone in a vision moving from his country towards africa but he wasn't sure of his destination he he didn't actually have any uh, plan that i am going to that city in that country he was just moving out it was like God asking Abraham, go to where I'm going to show you. So he was, he put, picked some few of his belongings and he was moving out. He wasn't with many loads. He was just moving out of his country. Uh, when I saw this, I understood that he wasn't moving to any particular state or town, but was just moving out. Being uncertain about his destination, he was moving out of, he was moving out because of the COVID-19 uh, agenda. The Holy Spirit told me that those who do not want to be fascinated yet can't fight back should move out. That is, if you can't fight back, if you can't resist and it is compulsory, move out, move out, save your humanity, save your DNA, save your RNA. Again this year, that is just a few days ago, I saw a pastor. Uh, the pastor is Pastor Chris Oyakilomi. We know he was doing uh, videos, educating people and warning people. And I know a lot of people came after him, lambasting him. But I, I had a vision uh, last year, late last year, and the Lord was commending him for what he did. A lot of commendations, although there were some a few things the Lord pointed out about him, but what he did was actually commendable by the Lord. So in this vision, I saw Pastor Chris Yakilomi, and someone told me, told him, Oh, uh, compulsory vaccination has started, and he paused for a while. He paused for a while, and then the next thing I saw was he went with his private jet and he was moving people out of those countries. Uh, he went to the Western world and he was moving people. All the people I saw were all white men. I didn't see any female and I didn't see any black person. And they were not with many loads. They, uh, many of them had like valuables and they were moving out to Africa and also uh, I didn't uh, know any particular country they were moving to, but he was moving them out because, you know, it was like persecution had broken out in case them because of their faith. They, don't, they didn't want to compromise and they were moving to Africa. This is what the Lord has revealed to me. And I want to tell you that uh, from this vision, you should know that 
Satan is up to something. Uh, please share this video. One our people. I, I, I know the Lord told me some time ago that Christians should come together. Christians, please come together. Now we need to speak with one voice. We need to be forceful. We need to, uh, as believers, we need to stand firm and not compromise our faith because what is on ground now is something that we never dreamt of. And we need to be very, very strong. If we are not strong in our faith, if we are not strong uh, in our Christian work, if we are not, um, if we are not together, it's not going to be very, very good. The Lord is warning us that we should be careful and that we should not compromise our faith. We should stand firm in our faith because Satan is up to something. Now, I'm not in this. Uh, COVID-19 vaccine, if it has nothing to do with altering our DNA, uh, vaccines are good, but if it is something that will destroy the humanity in you, God is not coming for animals, he's coming for us who are humans. Anything that will destroy the humanity in you, be it the mark of the beast, be it vaccine, be it anything, please be very, very careful. Do not destroy your humanity. Remember, in Genesis chapter 6, uh, there was filth on earth. A man was corrupt. One of the corruption uh, that uh, took place then among humanity was the destruction of human DNA. That was one of the major reasons God destroyed the whole earth with flood. Uh, man uh, the, the sons of God, fallen angels, had sexual uh, uh, relationship with the daughters of men and they gave birth to giants. And these people did not have real human DNA because uh, the people that met with them were not real human beings. Satan has been trying to corrupt our DNA because he knows if he can attack our humanity, then we, there is no way we can make heaven. It is only humans that can make heaven. Just the way the earth is given to humans to dominate. That is how Jesus Christ came to save humans. And he said in John chapter 14, he's going to prepare a place for us. He's not going to prepare a place for animals, but for humans. If you destroy your humanity, I tell you the truth, the Lord Jesus Christ will never return for someone like you. And I want to tell you, there is nothing we can lose in this world that can be compared to a reward in heaven. Remember that we are spiritual beings living in physical bodies. Do not destroy the being that is inside of you. Don't compromise because of the affairs of this world. I want you to share this message with everyone and I want you to subscribe to Eagle Ayopuna. I just... Uh, launch a website for my sermons, hosannatv.com. And I want you to download our messages and share them. In any way you can support us, feel free to support us. Pray for me, I need your prayers. I specifically ask for your prayers. Please pray for me. Uh, it is not a very smooth time. It's not a smooth season. Pray for me and the Lord God Almighty, we definitely bless you. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Bye-bye.